Guys, what is going on here with a Black War Greymon deck profile uh, for you guys uh, post Nats uh, kind of had some time to test out the deck quite a bit in a competitive setting um, as well as seeing the results from uh, North America, Latin America, Europe and all that. Uh, this is not actually the deck I played for Nats. Um, that deck was War Greymon X and I don't really feel like uploading a video for that since it's like a two card difference from like my last video so if you're interested you can check out my previous video or if you guys really want just let me know and I might post a new video um, but this deck um, you know tested out through some side events uh, one of my buddies played in the main event and it ran pretty good um, obviously if you want like the most competitive at the time of recording this you should probably look at the North American winner um, or any of the other lists that top like Latin America or anything like that but this is kind of just my take on the list uh, my buddy Huang Zero and I were working on this deck for quite a bit, and I still think it runs really solid. Um, so anyways, let's just go ahead and get into it, talk about some of the choices. Of course, the egg is just going to be uh, four copies of the BT9 Coromon, plus 1k is really, really important in the mirror, and this deck cycles enough <coughs> to where I don't think you really miss the um, draw from the draw Coromon. And then the rookie count, uh, pretty standard. I'd imagine all of you guys, um, you know, have seen the red base at this uh, point in time. Four copies of the promo, uh, four copies of Agumon X, as well as just uh, three copies of Searcher BT5 Agumon. Uh, I think this is enough. I wanted to play 12, but 11, just trying to fit everything in in this deck is a really big struggle. Uh, you definitely have to make some compromises. And one memory boost and cool boys and stuff, um, 11 rookies was like enough. Um, so, you know, pretty standard lineup uh, for the level 3s. Uh, for level 4s, of course, the most broken card uh, in the deck. I really think this card is not healthy for the game, like, especially going forward BT12 with uh, Raid War Greymon, uh, BT13 with Shine Greymon. This card becomes insane. So Greymon X Antibody, being able to up your tempo by letting you go from like a rookie to a mega in one turn is really insane. Uh, evolving your broken 4 cost to evolution um, ultimates for 2 cost, making them, making your broken ultimates the cost is a vanilla for like no no downside is just ridiculous. Um, and then of course you've got the alterns protection effect by being able to bottom deck and X anybody, you can prevent uh, deletion. So this card definitely standard. Uh, the other level four ratios are just weird because I really wanted to fit everything in. Uh, so playing two of the blocker Greymon, two of the sec attack Greymon, as well as two of the BT5 plus 2000 Greymon. Um, obviously these two I think are more standard, and I think the winning list wasn't even playing Psych Attack Greymon. Um, I think these are the essential ones. The Blocker Greymon, obviously, uh, interruption during your opponent's turn is always good. Against Cross and all the really fast uh, pace deck, Blue Flare, what, whatever, uh, this is really strong, really, really important. Uh, not so good in the Mirror or against Grandis or anything. Virtually useless against those matchups, and that's why, like, going into BT11, I think this one in a competitive setting is not as good, because half the time it doesn't matter anyways. I'd rather have a card like um, BD5 Greymon that lets me out my opponent stack. Uh, being able to put your Gaio at 15 or 16 with the egg uh, is really important. Um, and then Psych Attack Greymon, um, while this might sound weird, like yeah, you're a control deck, um, but against uh, certain decks like Grandis, where your win condition is to basically either kill them before they draw their out. Uh, or be able to answer their stack immediately. So in the case where you where they brick, you're good because you can check like three to four cards with this card. Um, but then in the case where you have to answer their stack, you need to kill them like the next turn. So if if you like promote your guy one or black or whatever they have, granted some field they checked all your security. You need to be able to like kill their stack and simultaneously do damage, and that's why this card is really good. So against that that um, you know Grandis and a lot of the other rogue stuff, I thought the psych attack Greymon was really important. It also works really well with the promo Greymon. Uh, Black War Greymon, which I think is really, really broken. I think basically every list should play that card. Uh, anyways, for level 5s, I'm going to be playing four copies of Metal Greymon Standard. This one's really broken. Being able to devolve outs a lot of things. Uh, killing a rookie is also really good. And then attacking Unsuspended Digimon is just so oppressive. Like being able to do this in tandem with Gaiomon, being able to blitz into an Unsuspended stack is just really unfair. Uh, and it's pretty much, it's probably the best thing about the deck. Uh, in addition to that, uh, if as if it can get more broken, 
playing three copies of the Metal Greymon X Antibody, <clears throat> not only do we get more protection with the Devolve protection, DP minus protection, uh, we also get to pop something with level uh, 6,000 DP or lower, and on top of that, it lets you trash a security card whenever one of your Digimon is suspended. So if you've got Gaiomon or Black or Greymon X, you just get rid of a security card for free, essentially letting Gaiomon do three damage in one turn, and then you already have lethal for the next turn because you have, if you have like the Gaiomon plus like any other rookie or plus an Omni or something, uh, that's that's already game. Uh, so this card just really broken. Um, Bottle is playing four. I think three is enough and then uh, one Altruist mode. I still think Altruist mode's really, really good. Not even just for the Evolve effect, but mainly for the protection effect. Being able to protect multiple times where um, Greymon X only lets you protect once. Um, so essentially they have to out your stack like three to four times, which is like never happening. Uh, so against a lot of decks, War Greymon X, uh, Mirror Match, uh, Bloom Lord, this is really, really essential. Uh, so that's gonna do it for the level fives. Uh, and then for the level six, sixes, again, this lineup is really weird, and there's a lot of one-ofs, uh, just because this deck cycles a lot. So, uh, one copy of BTA Black or Greymon, uh, the winning list from North America was actually not even playing it, this the card, and I actually agree. Uh, and against a lot of decks, this card actually isn't really even that good. You can evolve into it with X Antibody, so playing it for four, or evolving it for four, and passing turn. Uh, the Pops and Tamers is good against certain decks. Uh, memory Choking Melga, getting rid of Cool Boys and Ties for uh, Wargreymon X. Uh, does effectively nothing against Grandis. Um, uh, memory Choking them, uh, you know, you can do that, uh, but a lot of times they'll have the um, Okuamon plus uh, Okumon X to gain back the memory anyways. Uh, so that doesn't really do anything. Against the Mirror, it's virtually useless. Uh, it's it's definitely good against the mirror, but you have Hades Force anyways. You're you're the way you're winning the mirror isn't by getting rid of their tamers. I think it's usually by outing their stack, which you're doing by battle. Uh, so Gaiamon's more important in that regard. Uh, so anyways, just one copy of this and one copy of the promo Black War Um I'd probably honestly just swap this out for another promo. I think people are finally catching on to how ridiculous this card is. Uh, being able to swing multiple times into unsuspended stacks or swinging multiple times into security. It offers a lot of utility. Um, being able to use this with the Sec Attack Greymon actually offers you no DK. And there were a couple of lists I actually played against. Um, one also that topped the Japan Nats, Nats I think. Um, that was actually just like turbo black or Greymon promo OTK. Like it didn't even play any of the control cards. It just, your stack was this and you swung check two to unsuspend, swung check two unsuspend, and then you would, you would like game them. So um, again, I think one's okay, but you I'd probably play two of this going forward. Uh, this is also really good against Examon. Um, a lot of people weren't expecting Examon, but it's a really sleeper deck, I think, and really solid in the black or gray. Um, having Metal Grey to devolve an Exa, and then once they suspend your guy with a Slayer Jamon, like, a combo where they force you to attack. So, like, if you've got, like, a rookie to eat the hit, and then, like, you move out your guy, this, this swings, dies, this gets suspended, you can, like, devolve them, or you can just, like, evolve this guy and attach two to unsuspend to attack into their guy, uh, to their Examon or Slayer or whatever. So, it's actually really good, uh, for a lot of the rogue matchups. Um, so, so yeah, just overall a lot of utility. Uh, other cards... Uh, two copies of Black World Greymon X, I think that's enough. Uh, really, really broken into Melga um, and a lot of other decks. Popping stuff during your opponent's turn is really good. Uh, redirecting against Crossheart, really important. I think two is enough, though, you see quite often. Uh, and then three copies of Gaiomon. I think Gaiomon's probably the best card uh, in the deck. Probably the best level six to include. Just the, giving it four keywords is just ridiculous. Like being able to blitz, devolve something, check to, reboot, trash the security, have blocker, protection, whatever. It's just a really, really difficult card to out um, if you're not playing Grandis or if you're not playing like Black War itself. Uh, so this, this is just really good against every one stack deck, every rogue deck, uh, against the mirror, against Granis, whatever. So uh, Gaimon definitely really strong. Uh, for the level 7s, playing one copy of Omnimon X and one copy of the old Omnimon X. Um, again, the winning Nats list was playing to this, not any of this, and I can kind of see that. I was a little bit worried about security control. Um, just in case you don't see Yuya or anything, it can be pretty rough. So that's why I wanted to include this. Also, just bottom decking stuff against Examon. Again, I was, I was still really scared of Examon, so this card's really good for that. Uh, but this card is broken against Grandis in, uh, with Hades Force as a defensive card, as well as Exani Body Omni as a, you know, another way to just stop attacks in the mirror or against Grandis or whatever. It's really important because battle is the only thing you don't have protection against, so having uh, a card that negates attacks is really, really solid.
Uh, so that's going to do it. For level 7s, uh, for the rest of the deck, pretty standard. Uh, 3 X Antibody, 2 copies of Memory Boost for consistency. This card you really need to see. Uh, Double Hades Force, I think, is enough. Um, any more than that, I think it gets a little bit bricky. Uh, any less than that, and it's not strong enough. Being able to play a 5 cost board wipe is pretty ridiculous. Uh, this card... I don't know how I feel about it. It's really broken, but I probably think the problem is this. Like, if you're playing this for 7 and you have an established stack, it's probably, like, slightly more fair, but it's still a really unfair card. Um, I just think, like, both of these together and the fact that you can't out the, like, Greymon stack is the problem. Um, to where, like, if you could out the stack easier, Hades Force wouldn't be as broken. And then, you know, because it requires you to have, like, a level 6, basically, on field, or level 5 or 6 to basically get any value out of it. Uh, but I don't know how I feel about this. This card's really, really ridiculous. Um, Ban-worthy, maybe not. Limit-worthy, probably. Um, so anyways, that's going to do it for those. Uh, Tamers, two copies of Yuya, just to give extra uh, DP boost, um, as well as option protection. And the three cool boys, of course, this card's, uh, <laughs> this card needs to go. I really think a cool boy and or X anybody. The whole mechanic is just ridiculous. Being able to gain free memory, free draws, being able to effectively get everything blitzed to speed up your tempo, uh, protection effects and whatnot, just makes the deck, uh, really, really broken, as we've seen. So, guys, that's gonna do it for this, uh, video. Let me know if you enjoyed my, uh, pro profile. Uh, again, definitely a lot of um, um, things this deck can do. Very versatile at outing boards, very versatile at setting up um, impenetrable boards. Can play offensive, defensive. Just seems like there's almost nothing that can beat it. Uh, so anyways, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.